Hello Excel Champions, it's William aka Dr. Excel. Today I'm going to show you how to freeze rows or columns in Excel. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you uh, how to do this in Excel and I'm going to give you the file. The final file will be available right below the video. I'm going to put the link for you as usual. Um, so here I have a huge, a huge uh, table of financial results. Uh, with different business units uh, and, uh, you know, different months. Um, the problem with these uh, kind of files, you know, is sometimes you're lost in the middle. You don't know anymore what you're talking about. And, you are, I mean, the only way you can uh, find where you are is to select the line and, um, you know, go back to the headers. And sometimes it's a bit misleading. So what we're going to do is learn how to, uh, like, fix. Always have the header on top or the first column on top, on, uh, not on top, but on the left. Uh, this way, uh, well, this way we know what, what kind of figures we're talking about, and it's probably easier to, um, well, to navigate through our, our, um, our table, okay? So for that, I'm going to go into View, um, and the, the thing we're going to use is freeze panes. Okay, so if I select the second line here and I do freeze panes, actually I have several options here. I have freeze top row. That's what I'm going to use here. Yeah, no matter no matter where I select, I'm going to use freeze top row or freeze first column. So freeze top row here. I don't know if you see it well. I'm going to um, unfreeze it here. You know the the line between uh, rows, it's a bit like uh, dotted. I don't know if you, you you see it well, but when I make free stop row, it's like a full line. And actually when I scroll, uh, my header is still there. It's always going to be there. Okay, uh, same thing. I can freeze the first column next. Um, actually, you can see it also in between the, the headers. Here between A and B, you see the line is a bit darker than between B and C, for example. So now I have both the, I have, no, I, I switch. I just have the first column, which is freeze. So if I scroll, I lost the, the header, but I now have, and I have always the, the name of the business unit. Uh, I can do, so I'm gonna, if you want to revert, you just do unfreeze and it's gonna, well, unfreeze everything. Now, a more, if I want to do both, a more global way to do this is to select a cell and to do just free Spain. So this one is a bit, is a bit tricky. Um, this one's a bit tricky because it's going to, to freeze uh, the column which is left from what you selected and the lines that are on top of what you selected. So if I want to freeze both the first row, the first column, I'm going to select B2. Um, freeze panes, and now both are going to be free frozen, actually. That's, we say frozen. Um, and, uh, and that's cool, because now I always know, whenever I see a figure, what line we're talking about. And uh, so that's really easier. And another use we can do so i'm gonna unfreeze everything we can actually um freeze any number of um uh, of rows for example let's say i want to compare the what uh, the business unit h2 uh, to w you know uh, and it's not very convenient because they're far away uh, so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select the row i and I'm going to do freeze pane and it's going to freeze whatever is on top of this row. Uh, so you see the line for freezing is here. And now when I scroll, actually, the, um, I have like two separate windows here, uh, two separate tabs. So uh, everything that's uh, above of H is going to be always on the screen. And then I can scroll and I can compare easily to um, I don't know which one I took as an example, but you can compare to others uh, without any problem. And you can do it for, um, you can do, so I'm going to unfreeze and you can do it, of course, for columns. So if I select June, all these 
all this uh, left part is going to be up uh, until May, it's going to remain frozen. Um, so freeze pane here, and when I scroll, I um, have frozen all this part, uh, and I have all these figures, all these uh, columns, which are always here. Um, another thing you can do, you can freeze both a set of rows and a set of columns. If you select any uh, cell, for example, here I'm going to select uh, F9. Uh, so it's going to freeze everything. Uh, so from A to G and from uh, January to April. So I'm going to freeze that. And actually I have all of these rows who are always here and all of these uh, columns before which are always here. Um, so basically this part is all, oops, uh, where am I? Yeah, so everything here is, uh, is always going, going to be on the screen and for these two parts it's going to depend when you scroll but uh, the idea is that they are going to appear um, depending on your scroll. Um, so that's something really convenient. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to refreeze all the, the, the top line and the the top row and the top column, the left column, this way, that's the most useful. Um, this is really useful to get around in your file and not get lost between the figures. I hope this is going to be uh, helpful to you and help you not get lost in your files. Um, you can download the file right below to see how it works. And I'll see you tomorrow for a new Excel tutorial. Um, see you tomorrow, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. This way you'll get notified as soon as I publish. See you. Ciao.